If you happen to be in the market looking for a video editing program that provides advanced capabilities, has a super easy to use and intuitive user interface, and one that's priced at an affordable price point, then look no further than Wondershare's Filmora X. Although it is just one application within their diverse offering of utilities and creative applications, Filmora X has been well received by content creators all around the globe since it came out in late 2020. And like we said before, if you're in the market for a new video editing program, then hopefully by the end of this video, you'll already have your mind made up. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Andre King coming at you today with a very exciting topic and one that I'm definitely excited to talk about. I'm talking about none other than Wondershare's Filmora X. Yes, it's actually the video software program that I've been using ever since I came on the scene in YouTube. So we're actually gonna take a look today from a high level, some of the offerings that Filmora can actually bring to you. Over the course of the next few weeks, we're actually gonna get right into the product. We're gonna have a lot of demonstrations and different use cases. So feel free to drop a link down below if you know there's anything that you wanna see, the versatility, flexibility, or certain feature that you want me to demonstrate in this product and I'll definitely, definitely put together a video for you. But before we do any of that, I must warn you, full transparency, this video is not sponsored by Wondershare. We're gonna begin today talking about a topic within a product that most content creators actually neglect when they're demoing either hardware, software, or anything like that. And it's actually one of the most important things to know and understand right up front. I'm not talking about the price. I know a few of you thought maybe that's what I was talking about, but I'm actually talking about the system requirements for running this application. Filmora X is available for both Windows and Mac OS platforms. For Windows, it's only available for 64-bit operating systems. It's supported for Windows 7, 8.1, and Windows 10. The CPU that you will need, of course, is Intel i5 or better. And of course, you'll need at least four gigs of RAM. That again is just the minimum, but if you ever wanna do any customizations, any hardcore video, 4K, or anything like that, then you'll definitely want more than four gigs of RAM. The GPU, which of course offloads services from your CPU, and of course makes the processes run a lot smoother are shown here on the screen. 10 gigabytes is the minimum hard disk space requirement here, but just like the RAM, you'll definitely want to dedicate a lot more space than that or else you'll be deleting videos every day. Like I said in that introduction, Filmora comes in at a wonderful price point. Up until recently, they only had the perpetual plan, meaning that if you purchased the license, that it was yours forever. But if there was an upgrade, like when they went from Filmora 9 to Filmora X, then you would be stuck with that version and any updates that would come therein. That perpetual license, as you can see here, is for $69.99, and they do still have that, which comes with these items listed here. But as competition would have it, there's other vendors that offer those $19.99 a month plans. But Filmora has something better. They've got a $39.99 a year plan. Yes, $39.99 a year, which would include Filmora 11 if they were to go to it that quick. And so you do have a little security there if that's the aspect that you're looking for. And this last choice here, the bundle subscription plan, still significantly cheaper than the $19.99 a month times 12, slightly shy of $240 a year. So you see here, just a tick under $100 will get you all of these features here. But wait, what if I'm a student, you say? Yes, students do receive a discount shown here on the screen. If you're able to provide an email address from an educational institution, then of course this discount is yours. So you may wanna check that one out or check with a friend that's in school. As you can see, Filmora X has so, so much to offer creators all around the globe. And I hope that over the course of the next few weeks that I'll be able to demonstrate and show off some of those capabilities within the application itself. Again, I wanna thank each and every one of you again out there for rocking with me, especially those who of course have been rocking with the channel since we first came out. And if this is your first time watching this video, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. What was the most useful capability that you saw from Filmora X? 
curious to know. And like I said, in the next few weeks, we're going to get right down into it. We're going to actually open the software up each and every week and bring a new feature, different example or twist of how to do something. And like I said, whether you create a little or you create a lot, just keep creating. So until next time, stay safe, take care of yourselves. Peace. <music>